Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and right now there's a massive sale happening on the Synthi store. As you might know, I'm a huge fan of their low poly style, I've used them in tons of my videos. Pretty much all of their packs are discounted at half price, along with some flash deals with a deeper discount every week. Stay tuned for the video tomorrow, where I made a fun mini game using the pack that is on the flash deal this week. Looking at all of these packs gives me tons of ideas for all the kinds of games that I could build. Honestly, I really wish that I could just stop time and build 50 mini games using all of these packs. The recently released Elven Realms, that one would be perfect for some kind of game inspired by Lord of the Rings. Maybe an RTS game, like the awesome Battle for Middle Earth games, or maybe something more stealthy, like the upcoming Golem game. With the military pack, you could make a really nice first person shooter. That pack has tons of weapons and attachments. So, just with that, it would be fun to make a minigame all about setting up a weapon. The Ancient Empire pack, that one is one of my favorites. I love the Greek slash Roman theme. I used it in my camera system video. I could see something like Age of Empires made with something like this, or maybe an action game inspired by 300, maybe something like the game Rise, Son of Rome. The Dog Pack would be perfect if you need some kind of companion in your game. I've been wanting to use this pack to make a simple companion AI tutorial, I think that would be fun. The Heist Pack is one that I've also used many times, like for example in the Destruction video. It's pretty cheap and has tons of stuff, so with this I would love to make some kind of co-op heist game. Another great one that is also pretty cheap is the Battle Royale Pack. This is what I used in the third person shooter video. It's got tons of props and a nice island, so again, it's perfect for a battle royale game. One genre that I love to play are tycoon games, so the shops pack would be perfect for exactly that. It includes a massive amount of props, so you could make an entire multi-coon game, or really just one of these shops. If you'd like to make a city builder, something like City Skylines, then the city pack would be great for that. A long time ago there was a nice bundle with some synthy assets, and I made three unique games with those. I made a nice farming game with the farm pack, really nice. I made an RTS with the sci-fi space pack, also came out really well. And I made a car game like Crazy Taxi using the town pack. Related to cars, the Street Racer pack is also really awesome. This is the one that is on the extra deep discount on the flash sale this week. Like I said, stay tuned for my next video tomorrow. In there, I'm using this pack to make a fun drag racing minigame. Just recently, I announced my Steam game called Dinky Guardians. For the environment of that one, I use the Meadow Forest pack. They have three nice environment packs. I really like these ones because personally I suck at world building, so being able to have something made by a professional artist is really great. And in my game I'm also using the Particle Effects pack. I really like this one, definitely very useful in tons of scenarios. It has lots of effects that can represent whatever you want. Another very useful one is the Icons pack. It's exactly what it says, a bunch of nice 3D icons that would fit any game. For some horror, you have the Horror Mansion pack. It's what I used in the V Rising video. Very spooky, tons of props and some scary characters. They also have tons of character packs with near infinite customization. I use the fantasy characters pack in the character customization video. I still need to get back to that one in order to make the part 2 of that video. There's the fantasy characters, then there's a knights pack, one with non-hero characters, one with some normal city characters, one with some zombies, and tons more. All the regular packs, they also have usually about a dozen characters. All of them are made in the same style, so you can easily pick up characters and props from many different packs. The Western Asset also looks really nice, would be great to make a game like Red Dead Redemption. And the Samurai Pack also looks very interesting, makes me want to make some kind of Samurai Dueling minigame. So as you can see, tons of packs on all kinds of themes that you could use to build all kinds of games. If you like their style just like I do, then go ahead and check out the entire sale link in the description. Like I said, there are flash deals which change every week. This week, the discount is on the Street Racer Pack. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video where I made a fun game using that pack. The link in the description is also an affiliate link, so if you pick up anything through there, you get some awesome assets and I get a nice commission. Alright, so go ahead and check out the sale to see if there's anything that could help you make your game better. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.